hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum and in this video we are going to see how to apply uh, the user configuration or, or the WLAN configuration on C9800 controllers in my earlier video I have shown you uh, the overview of it how to navigate around this and then if you get a, a brand new box uh, how to apply base configuration how to uh, enable HA or redundancy between them and now the next step apply the controller config so that AP can join controllers and it can start broadcasting the SSID so that user can associate to that SSID and start using network services one key thing is to remember that um, if you are familiar with Cisco wireless solution the earlier solutions were rely on AROS but C9800 is using iOS 6C so the configuration mm, method is a is, is a vastly different from AROS so you will think you will see that we still configure those things but we configure those things differently that means the approach is different and that's why we will try to we'll spend few minutes to understand the config model what is mandatory what is optional and how they are interlinked together okay and if you are not if you find it complicated or difficult just bear with me when i go to demo things will be very very clear to you okay so in 9800 uh, config model there are two key things policy and tags under policy you define three types of policy WLAN policy site policy and radio policy and as the name suggests WLAN is all about wireless LAN characteristics then site policy you can define things per site uh, and radio policy so all your RF related characteristics these things are interrelated that means once you define your WLAN you can call in those uh, policy or profile under site so that they can inherit those values and finally you apply uh, these policies uh, and tags to a AP so you say that all my AP or one particular AP or one part or, or AP is in particular building they will inherit this profile so assignment can be static dynamic location based and multiple ways right so let's uh, read uh, a little bit more about this so profile these are the things you define first and these are the different kind of profile you define so you define your ap join profile wlan profile not everything is mandatory but these are the different profiles available flex profile is especially if you have remote branches where uh, there is no wlc controller and this, there is a centralized controller that is a flex configuration right so you define your flex profile um, then you define your tags and uh, finally as i mentioned you can apply these tags based on static um, static allocation or location base like that uh, if you're wondering that you have to configure all these objects uh, that's not necessary by default there are everything configured as a default 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 so if you don't want to configure anything you can still use the default values and apply it to AP right and that's what you will see that as soon as my controller is up and my AP has got reachability to the controller uh, via DSCP it has joined the controller already uh, because it is using all those uh, default um, profiles okay let's now quickly talk about demo so this is my demo setup in earlier video we have to uh, a pair of 9800 where we have configured HA between them um, uh, 9800 is connected to a distribu distribution uh, uh, infrastructure via uh, port channel and this distribution infrastructure has AP connected to it so then this model we are going to configure our WLC so that AP can join controller and at the same time user can uh, associate to those SSIDs okay now let's go to demo a couple of things I want to show you is uh, on my WLC controller I have already allowed uh, VLAN uh, user VLAN so my user VLAN is 250 my AP VLAN was 10 as you have seen in earlier video now I have added VLAN 250 as well okay uh, because i want these these vlan uh, traffic to come to wlc right so this is our uh, wlc dashboard and let's go to straightly go to configure but before we go to configure let's look at the access point and you can see 
my access point has joined using default 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 all these things and if you click on this uh, tag you will see a very good view what we just talked about right the different object and how they are associated uh, or uh, attached to the ap so right now it's everything is using default but don't worry we are going to build a new one so let's go to config and this is the tab we'll be focusing on tags and profile so this is uh, the this is the concentration of our configuration okay so let's start with ap join we already have a default ap profile but we are going to ignore that and let's click add another one so i'm going to say um, my 9800 i don't know i know it's not a great name but yep i can not very creative so let's define the ntp ip here go to the next tab client uh things to remember uh, adjust mss mss looks good so default value is good cap web all the default looks good what i want to do i want to configure define my primary controller you can define your secondary controller also but uh, for sake of a quick video we just live with primary and go to ap everything here looks good okay and um, management this is also good uh, device user okay let's create a user uh, admin so this is my ap and password cisco one two three super secret password um, cisco one two three okay i don't want any dot one x other things rogue ap my rogue detection is enabled um, and icap is a new feature where you can capture all the packet full packet capture so management frame control frame data frame everything you can capture from wlc itself so looks good now um, uh, so key things to remember what we configured is we configured uh, uh, ntp we configured uh, uh, cap web so you define your controller ip and uh, we define the ap credentials okay so let's save it all right again let's go back to configuration we are not going to do flex so let's click on profile policy add policy profile so i want to add one and i'm going to say name it my 9800 policy profile and we are going to enable it okay once you enable it um, everything looks good here so we have enabled it now let's go to access policy under access policy i want to select uh, my user vlan okay and um, no acl other things needed so i am living with bare minimum configuration here but you can see all these parameters are here for you and qos and abc so i'm going to select uh, fastlane so fastlane is um, 802.11 e implementation all the best practices mobility no mobility needed advanced um, things looks good here few things you have to remember okay mm. access i am looking at pre auth post auth general okay so looks good now apply let's go back again now rf profile all these rf profiles are defined already but i will just create a dummy one so we can say 
my ninety eight hundred RF five gigahertz status enable of the writer device and I will create one more for two point four gigahertz my ninety eight hundred two four gigahertz and enable this. So we can use very well use the earlier profile, but I, I'm just creating the dummy one so that I can show you how it is get applied. So configuration is done. So we have created AP join profile, policy profile, and RF profile. Now let's move on to the tags. And this is the, the things uh, you will create again. So first thing is policy tags and policy tags. So I'm going to say again my 9800 policy tag and then you actually map it so WLAN profile we created earlier WLAN profile here and policy profile here in drop down say yes apply to devices so we have created our policy profile now let's create a site profile site tag sorry my 9800 site tag AP join profile we created a, another one so I'm going to select that one and apply to device so we created a site and then we have RF so let's create a new RF profile RF tag my 9800 RF and these are the the ones we created I'm going to we call them here okay so so far what we did we created AP join profile we created a policy profile and uh, other things but what we didn't create is WLAN okay so let's go back to WLAN okay security security what we want to do we want to just use I don't want to use this for simplicity we just want to use PSK so for PSK uh, our pre-shared key this is the key user will use to join the network and you can see the super secret Cisco 123 so that is my security update okay Yes, so my SSID is DCS 9800 and it is using PSK security pre-shared key and we have defined the pre-shared key. Okay, so everything is configured. You have seen that we created AP join profile, policy profile, RF uh, tag, and then we went to tag, configure all those tags, right? And uh, call this values. So here you can see this is my policy profile which is calling WLAN profile which is uh, uh, so everything is nested and now finally final part is assign it to AP how do you assign it to AP right so I'm going to say static AP MAC address you can say default I, I want this whatever custom things we defined we are going to use them here okay what it is asking me to uh, is AP MAC address all right so we need MAC address of the AP and uh, I have it in my Excel sheet or we can very well log into the AP and check the MAC address but I have it handy here for me okay. I'm going to copy that MAC address and I'm going to enter it here at the same time what we will do we will connect to the console of that AP 
and watch the association in real time. Okay, invalid MAC address because it expect us to put a colon format. Oops, this is a serial number, my bad. So let's connect to this uh, AP first and AP Mac is this. This is our AP Mac and I'm connected to my AP here. Okay, apply to devices. And you can watch it in real time. cap web state so every time you do something some changes the cap web tunnel dtls tunnel is going to tear down and it will reboot and it will associate to the new tag well i hope uh, you know, so far you were able to follow me i know it was a, a little uh, complicated demo because we are building lot of objects and calling those objects together but think of it it's it's a uh, it's quite simple so basically how I am um, my my mind mapping is you define four objects first if you don't want to rely on uh, on default profile you define four things first your AP join profile your uh, where, where you define your um, NTP HA uh, MSS uh, and the username and password for AP then second step is define your WLAN profile. WLAN profile is for your SSID, uh, SSID security. But if you are using WP2, uh, WPA2 Enterprise or PSK, so that security. Then RF profile. RF profile is pretty simple, right? And then policy profile. The policy profile is where you are going to define your uh, user VLAN, right? What If you have multiple VLAN, user VLAN, voice VLAN, or finance and other segments you define all those VLANs there right so all these four objects you have to define first then you move on to do tags once you click on tags you have to define policy tag policy tag when you define policy tag you will call in WLAN profile and policy profile and attach it to the policy tag then the site tag site tag define a site tag associate your AP join profile to the site tag and then RF tag simple uh, finally, AP associa uh, association and as I shown you static. So if you do static, you are going to put the MAC address of that AP and define three parameters uh, what we have discussed. Policy tag name, site tag name, RF tag name and it will make your AP reboot and the AP is going to get IP address from DSCP. Okay. and let's check if our username and password what we define is working so define yes I can log in and let's go one two three show IP and T brief it has got an IP address uh, from the controller and now let's go back to the controller click on access points I'm interested in this access point only and now you can see that whatever we defined as a part of new config model this AP is inheriting only those profiles you can see this so it has changed from default to the newer one and um, join stats so basically my AP has joined and it is con connected for client to right now, I do not have any client who can actually uh, associate it 
uh, associate to the SSID what we defined because the set setup is in a lab but in uh, I'll see whenever I have that setup available I'll try to join my phone or my uh, laptop to the SSID and I will show you the client stat here okay um, but from WLC you can see things from CLI perspective also the same information show AP summary and show wireless client um, summary yep summary no client I'll see whenever the client are available I'll do an add-on of like two minute video quickly and show you how how the client is connected and using this uh, services so I hope uh, you find this uh, series interesting enough and now you feel confident with the uh, new hardware or new products uh, 9800 if you have any question any um, any confusion uh, feel free to ask questions in my comment section and I'll make sure that I'll take time and reply uh, your queries thank you very much